I'm looking at the figures um, because there's a sugar task force report of 2018. The report came, I think, in April 2019. I'm not sure about the implementation. So the national demand of sugar is 1 million um, metric tons. The local production in 2018 was 490,000 metric tons. That's barely 50%. So there was a deficit of 521,000 metric tons which needed to be imported. But the milling capacity in the factories that are in Kenya is 14.96 million metric tons. That's close to 14 times what we need as a country. But then again, again, the requirement of sugarcane for that would be 9.84 metric tons. Uh, but yes, so the requirement to produce 1 million metric tons of sugar would require 9.84 metric tons of sugar cane. But the country is only able to do about 50%. Uh, so there are challenges of a cane production uh, that is in the farming process. But also the milling side is problematic. Farmers have complained over time. Now we are actually almost net importers of sugar. Sugar is too expensive. There's an excess duty on imported sugar that was imposed by the Finance Act of 5 shillings per kilo. So these are all passing on to the consumer. Are we dealing with the real problem here? Yeah, Sam, we're dealing with the real problems. The approach taken by the president, in my opinion, is the best. Now, I've told you severally, Sam, and on this I'll not wear the lawyer's hat. I've told you, if I'm president, one day mm -hmm. I will not speak the way the president is speaking. I will do. Those three things he said, I will do them. I will not talk about them. You take people to heaven. On this issue of sugar, because you're talking about 20, 30 million Kenyans whose livelihoods have been messed up for the last 25, 30 years. Mm -hmm. And you want to pay, to, to play ping pong with it, allow Indians to come here and play poker with us? No. I would do the same, and I want to repeat that, that I would not talk about them, I would do it. You know, Sam, mm -hmm. this president, I think, has been forced into this issue of sugar. He, he was one of the guys who was saying, no, we don't need sugar factories. You heard him talk about this when he just came to power. Mm -hmm. he, did, he was not convinced about the availability of the sugar sector in the country. And he was saying, let's sell them off to people to, to manage them. Mm -hmm. But you've been able to convince him that you cannot be talking about reviving coffee, re reviving tea, and then you don't want to revive sugar. Where will those people in Western Kenya go? Mm -hmm. And so the approach that is saying we should take is take the ownership of the sugar factories to the farmers. So that, for example, mm -hmm. if you want to revive Mumias or you want to revive Nzoya or you want to revive uh, Miwani or Sony, and you want to put government money into it, mm -hmm. don't send money as grants. Don't send money down there and say you're paying debts. Because Sam, in the last 10 years alone, the kind of money that are going into Mumias in terms of if they put a billion today, mm -hmm. tomorrow they'll say there's no money because the billion goes in and goes, it's like, you, it's a bottomless pit. So there's no reason of in putting in grants into these factories again. What he's saying is, let's get off all these interests. Then start afresh. That's the point the president is making. But you can't start afresh when there are so many vested interests, cartels upon cartels, that have taken over and shocked the <coughs> sector. The love where you make the sugar report, reform report you're talking about. This is not the first one. This would be probably the sixth one mm. in the last 11 years. Right. Sugar reform. We've had very many good recommendations about what you need to do on sugar. But they are never invented because at every level, Sam, there's not just court cases. No. Every election year, even last year, you hear, oh, there's a duty-free, duty quota-free import of sugar. Who benefits? It's politicians like me and my colleagues here, and the cartels we're talking about, protected by the system. Mm -hmm. So I want to tell you this for sure, mm -hmm. that if we are to sort out the sugar in this country, people must let government to help clean up that sector. You, you can imagine, I'll, I'll just give an example, that Mumia's sugar, for a while in Western Kenya, for a while, was a livelihood of people from Bungoma, mm -hmm. Kakamega, Busia, Sia where I come from. We would deliver sugar and get paid within a week or two weeks. And I deliver sugar and you don't know whether you're going to be paid or not. You plant your sugar, mm -hmm. you use your, your own money to plant the sugar and all that, and then you're being told you can't sell to so-and-so, you can't sell to so-and-so. 
Then, where government invests, these private millers are the ones who now come. They come around because they're able to pay you in cash. Government invests, but the sugar can go to the private sector. So, so what you must do is to enable the farmer earn something on his sugar cane. And what is being reformed are the following. One is what Tom Bonyoka has talked about. The cane seed. We need cane that mature faster. Mm -hmm. Two, transportation of cane in a manner that does not make farmers lose. Three, and most importantly, fundamentally, is pricing of cane and weighing of cane. And then four, prompt payment for those who deliver their cane. What, what do you mean pricing of cane and weighing of cane? Um, you know, this is the way it works. <laughs> that uh, you, you will, someone will come to your farm to pick a sugar cane. Sugar cane that you've grown in your own money, your own shamba. Mm -hmm. And uh, they'll pick it at the farm gate and go and weigh it at the factory. So if the, fa the, the sugar cane that left your, your farm was probably 10 tons, but along the way, things happen and all that. By the time the sugar can be being weighed at the factory, it's eight tons, seven. Two, the price, who sets the pricing of cane? The price of cane? Is the factory, the one who set up the factory, the factory set up the price of cane? And then, when Mumias was working, people get good money for their canes. But now, you are told, oh, we loaned you this kind of money. You go to your 10 acres, Sam. Mm. Your sugar cane is worth, for example, one, two million shillings. But the day you are being paid, you are being paid debits. You're being told, oh, you know, we gave you this, we gave you uh, fertilizer, okay. we gave you seed, we gave you all this. So farmers have been losing upon losing, even because the sector is not controlled. All right. And, and, and so, Sam, I just want to hope mm. that Kenyans go with, work with the president on this issue. And, and people, people talk about Singapore, people talk about Malaysia, people talk about South Korea. Right. These things the president is talking about happened there. These things of either Wondoke, <laughs> Amusa Firishwe, Ama Ohame Kenya, those things happen in places where people are serious about investments so that you don't play with people's lives. And where does, that with the, the, where does that sit with the Constitution? I told you today I'm not going to talk about the law because I'm a lawyer, yes, but on matters of sugar, the areas where Sammy. you can't allow, you, the areas where you can't allow uh. people to keep on holding us hostage. Sam, if you allowed cases, but if you allowed these cases and the careers go on the sugar industry, it will never work because, because someone says he's crushing sugar, sugar cane, into sugar. He says, he tells you that I crush, I'm able to get you half a million tons. But the guy only produces 100,000 tons and the 400,000 he, he imports into the country, imports into the country and repackages as made in Kenya. It just doesn't work like that. It, okay. it, it is, it, it, Sam, yes, that. I'm not able to, <laughs> I'm not able to, but that sector needs serious, thorough surgery okay. and, and these people have been spoken to, mm. Sam. It's very important to also note that these people have been talking to and been requested that please, for national interest, see your interests. Allow us to organize a sector. Requested by who? By the person who is saying, uh, if, if you look at that story, mm. you, he's done how many meetings? He said, when I came in, you were reading a, a, a new story, that he's done more than 20 meetings. Whom is he talking mm. to? Not government officials only. He's talking to all these sugar sector okay. players and telling them, look, guys, we need to help the farmer get something in this sector. Please help us reorganize the sector. But then people even put cases upon cases, some of them sponsored by sponsorees and sponsorees. It just it can't work. <laughs> Sammy, can, 